Howdy folks, welcome back to uh, the Fenner University video and um, we're going to talk about funk guitar, mostly about your right hand. That's the most important thing that I could say about playing funk guitar and rhythm guitar obviously is your right hand. Not necessarily needing to do a lot of work on this for this particular lesson, um, but we're going to talk about something you can do to strengthen your right hand. And this is stuff that's really cool from our um, Rhythm and Groove Guitar class for Berkeley. A lot of this stuff is based on that. So what we're going to do, um, first and foremost, what I recommend people do is if you're not super comfortable with your right hand, if it feels like, yeah, you can play your first position chords, you feel comfortable with all that, but this is just not doing what your brain is telling it to do. The best thing you can do is work on a couple picking exercises on your strings. So let me just show you that really quick. So very simple. If you're starting out playing guitar, you're pretty new to it, you probably have heard down picking and up picking. All right? So a combination of two is alternate picking. If you start off with your down picking, and you're just picking down the guitar like this, all right? it's a great way, it's very mundane, it's very monotonous, but it's something that you can work on with your right hand to get a little bit more stronger, get that muscle memory set in. The next thing you're going to want to do to up the ante with that is do your up picking. All right. And then after that, what you can do is you can take different exercises using eighth notes and uh, just go down the strings and back up the strings with your down and up picking. So one and two and three and four and five and so just so forth and so on. Just move on and on and on and on and on. Um, and then the last thing that I would say to really get your brain working is to alternate pick and to do four uh, picking on each string. So sets of four on all six strings and then back up. So if you're going to go down, all right, very simple, but it goes a long way if you keep working on it. So that's the first thing I would say to do when you're taking the next step into working on your right hand. Now, as we move into funk stuff, um, what we're talking more about is strumming. Best thing you can do for yourself is buy a bunch of funk records. A couple guitar players that I really like for the funky stuff are people like Eric Krasno um, and John Schofield. Um, any old funk stuff, you know, from back in the 70s or whatever, check that out. There's a lot of really cool examples of simple funk stuff that you can start working on. And most of the time, when you hear funk stuff, you, you, a lot of people associate the nine chord with funk. So if you're listening to James Brown, you're going to hear that a lot. So there's an old joke about James Brown hiring guitar players about, you know, can you play a, you know, a D9? Yeah, I can play a D9. Can you play it all night? And that's the James Brown joke. <laughs> so, you know, that's the thing with funk guitar. You know, you're going to be chilling out and playing probably on a vamp most of the time throughout the night. So you want to get comfortable with different rhythmic exercises you can put your hand in motion in specific tunes. So if I'm playing something simple like this and there's a singer singing, there's a, uh, like a horn groove. I don't want to walk on the singer and I don't want to walk on the horn groove. So you just want to play very simplistically. So this is simple. This is the right hand without the chord. All right? kind of just chunking along. All right. Very simple exercise. And if you want to change it up within the groove, so if you can get that right hand kind of in your brain and in your hands when you go to play, it's going to feel more natural every time you get in an improvisational setting. You can pull stuff out like that. And don't be afraid to leave space. Never be afraid to leave space in music. It's super important to let every part of the band, every piece of the puzzle have their say. You don't want to step on any of that. So that's the big thing about funk guitar is, you know, know your place in the band, do your job, and the funkier it'll be. All right, thanks, guys.